assalamu alaikum greetings i hope everyone is having great time and everyone is having a great start of 2024 here i am today to share the best writer of 2023 okay so when i'm saying that the best writer of 2023 i'm not trying to imply uh, the books that were published in 2023 actually the books that i have read in 2023 and now i think that i need to pick the best writer unfortunately from the 53 books that i have read i couldn't find one best writer actually i have to pick two and it is really interesting and in terms in some case it's funny that i have picked two writers of two polar opposite sides so without further delay i'm uh, saying these two names uh, the first name is dr shamsul arifin shokti and the second name is albert kemo interestingly both of them are they belong to two different polar sides because if you know Dr. Shamsul Arifin Shukti and his writing, you know that he is an ardent believer in Islam. He believes in God. He believes in some uh, sort of lifestyle. Okay. On the other hand, Albert Camus is quite the different because he doesn't believe in set pattern or the rules of any religion because he is an atheist. Okay. He is an existential or absurdist people, absurdist person. Anyway, uh, the point of this video is to introduce you to these two writers whose writing has appealed me more. If you go through my YouTube channel, you can already see the videos of Dr. Sam Sul Arifin Chokti's book, Muminer Carrier Bhavna, Poran Mundi, and there is also Mission Islam. Okay, uh, I really love these books, and these three books uh, has appealed or have appealed three different, uh, uh, I mean, ideas of me. Okay, the first thing is Muminer Carrier Bhavna. If I summarize it. Uh, if you are trying to pursue a career and you need to know that this career is suitable for you in Islamic sense or the sense of your religion, then uh, it can uh, it can be a great guideline. Okay, you can also watch the video on my YouTube channel. There is uh, Mission Islam. Okay, I mean uh, when we see these sorts of name, we uh, make some assumption that it might uh, be an Islamic book, something like that. But when you read this book, you will understand that it's a criticism of the contemporary Muslim society. Okay, because we are not really devout or we pretend to be devout there are lots of other uh, faults or flaws that we need to fix and when you will read this book you will understand that we as a muslim can do much better than we are doing right now okay so i i will strongly recommend this book and you can go the detailed video or in my youtube channel and there is also paran mundi i have uh, published uh, the video of paran mundi last week you can know that it's not a biography or it's not a travel book, but it's a good mixture of both. So when you will read it, you will understand the strength of uh, Shokti Bhai's uh, writing because his writing is so appealing and the information that you will find will uh, will appeal to you that you have never thought about these things. So when I'm talking about his books, uh, yes, there are some biases that will work in me, but I can say that if you read this book with an objective point of view, you will really love his book. Now coming to the writer, Albert Camus, I'm not differentiating. I mean, uh, yes, I have talked about Dr. Shamsul Arifin uh, first, but that doesn't mean he is any less. He's universally acclaimed writer, Albert Camus. Uh, this book, The Outsider, was in our syllabus, so I had to read this. So when I was reading it, it appealed me. And it appealed me to that sense that I have transformed myself into the character Marcel, the protagonist, okay? And when you will read this book, you will be so amazed so terrified to understand the absurdity of life so when we talk about absurdity that doesn't mean the world is meaningless or the existence of human is meaningless but the connection between the world and to find the relationship between the world and the human is meaningless so when you will read this book you will feel like it doesn't matter what everyone does everyone do i mean <laughs> it's it's really interesting uh, when i was reading this book uh, i mean the protagonist's girlfriend was saying that i love you but Marcel was saying it doesn't matter. So when his mother dies, when his mother dies, uh, he has no reaction, and he killed an Arab. And the, I mean, indifference that you will see in him will provoke you, provoke you in a sense that I mean, the world, life in a, in many sense, in many layers, is meaningless. I'm not trying to uh, make you an atheist or any kind. I'm just trying to say, read some books of Albert Camus, and this book is inspired by uh, Camus' another book. I mean, another philosophical thought uh, about the myth of Sisyphus. So uh, this book, which is the myth of Sisyphus, was not in my syllabus, but I have bought it and I read it thoroughly. It is 
I mean, I have to say it's difficult because there are lots of philosophical thoughts injected in it. But when you will read it, I mean, with patience, you will really love it. And it will make you, I mean, it will push you to think differently. Okay, so hats off to Albert Camus because I I really love his book and I'm, I will be reading more of his in the coming days. So if you have watched this video, you can visit my YouTube channel to find the best 10 books of 2023. Again, it's not possible for me to touch every genre because I'm a human being and I have some other works to do. But the thing is, uh, these books have appealed me and the writers, I have, I have to say again, hats off and although Albert Kemu is already dead and I cannot say anything more about him but I believe that you will uh, get more books of Dr. Shamsul Arifin Shukti so read and share with your friends to read more and more and create better society thank you Allah Hafiz Assalamu Alaikum